What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're going to be talking about Welcome to Dairy in this video here today. We know Welcome to Dairy is the upcoming Max series coming in 2024. Prequel series to Andy Muschietti's 2017 and 2019 films It Chapter 1 and It Chapter 2 based on Stephen King's iconic novel. Uh, first film adaptation of the novel, not a remake as many people like to say, but I'm not even going to call it a remake because in order for it to be a remake, it would need to be a TV series. Those are just the first two film adaptations. But I digress. We know, again, it's going to be the prequel to those two movies, and it's going to be going into the origins, as we've been told over the years with the reports. It's going to go into the origins of Pennywise a little further. One of the earlier plot synopsises that came out from Production Weekly recently tells us that Welcome to Derry is going to be set in the 1960s, four kids in a town bordering an Air Force base with a mysterious special projects bunker search for a friend of theirs who disappeared mysteriously. Now, of course, yes, it sounds like Stranger Things. Keep in mind this novel and the history of this novel and, of course, the subject matter of this novel is older. And that's why it inspired things like Stranger Things. Now, can they be still taking inspiration from the show Stranger Things? Sure, Stranger Things can still inspire a show like Welcome to Dairy, but Welcome to Dairy and the subject matter of Welcome to Dairy did it first. Okay, mainly what we're going to talk about is the new characters that I have come across that have been shared with me courtesy of some casting calls. Shout out to you, Matt D. You know who you are for sharing this with me. So we know that so far, the cast of Welcome to Dairy is going to include Taylor Page, Giovanna Depo, Chris Chalk, and James Ramar. Deadline had also reported not too long ago that Madeline Stow and Steven Ryder have also joined the project. And we know filming is currently underway out in, out in the uh, Canada area. I think Toronto, to be specific. Might be mistaken. But we know, again, it's coming to Max next year. It is going to dive into the origins of Pennywise. Recently from Andy Muschietti himself, who was going to be returning to direct a couple of episodes, including the pilot, we got told our first character we'll get to meet, Chief Clint bowers chief of police clint bowers somebody tied into the bowers family so another bowers member we'll get to meet in the upcoming show but i'm going to go over some new characters that you've never heard of before probably because again they're upcoming characters you'll get to meet in the upcoming series i will say that these names might be placeholder names and they could be different based off of when the show actually airs and i'll also reveal an episode title so just to kick it off we will be meeting, meeting a character named chief john bear a recurring guest star this is described as an indigenous male in his 60s he's the chief of the indian marsh community residing over a council meeting about the latest infringement of the white man digging up their land we have another character here named taniel uh somebody in their 20s an indigenous male a resident i would assume who is concerned he goes to the council meeting to report on the military digging up their land this character is said to be appearing in episodes three four and also in episode seven then we have a role related to an elderly black person who is an elderly woman appearing in a vision so she might be very minuscule in terms of her significance to the story she's appearing in episodes three and four now here's the character that might be very significant young rose so we're gonna meet somebody in welcome to dairy named rose this young rose role it's described as that because it's going to be taking place in the year 1908 and what I can assume will be a flashback since we're set in the 60s. We'll meet an 11 year old indigenous female named Rose who is selling blueberry water to make money. She befriends a lonely white boy and keeps the town's secrets close to her chest. Now, are these town secrets related to Pennywise? We'll have to see because I'm assuming again Rose is someone we'll meet and we'll learn a lot about her youth and get a 1908 flashback courtesy of that. Now. Some other roles, some other characters here. The Lee twins, a white, a pair of white females in their 50s to 70s, elderly conjoined sisters who will meet dancing at a carnival. They might be very minor as well because they're not even mentioned as being a recurring guest star. Uh, some other characters here, young indigenous boy one and two who could be connected to the character of roles because they're also set to be present in a 1908 sequence. They are 12 year old indigenous males who are selling blueberry water to make money similar to Rose. They befriend a lonely white boy similar to the character of Rose. Those are really the only real characters I want to go over according to this casting call of characters that will appear in the upcoming Welcome to Dairy show. And I will go over this with you. Keep in mind the production title or working title of Welcome to Dairy while it's shooting is Fairview. So episode three, according to this, of Fairview, because again, it could be changed. It's called Now You See It. That is the episode title of one of the Welcome to Dairy episodes that we can expect 
from the series that again will debut on max next year you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course you can go ahead and subscribe turn on post notification and this video actually before i get out of here the fact that this these roles seem to have a lot of race debates tied to them i hope this doesn't make people think that this show will be very race heavy i don't think that's the case i just think it's taking advantage of the time that it's in and you yes will have some very prevalent debates and topics addressed given it's set in the 60s and of course with pennywise being present this has got to be playing a factor in that racial tension that was already existing i'm, I'm glad to see they're going to bring that to life in a big way uh so we'll see how this all plays out again if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and there's a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video